It's getting harder and harder to root your Android phone. Um, something I personally love doing a lot of the time. Not always, but a lot of the time. It allows me to remove all the bloatware that the carrier may have put on, the manufacturer might have put on, and let me kind of really, in most cases, get down to a more stock version of Android, which I, as a purist, a little bit uh, prefer. But it isn't really an option for my S8 Plus, or the S8 for that matter, because there is no root method for the US versions at the moment. So, I figured I'd show you guys and any other Android purists out there how you can get your S8 or S8 Plus to look and feel as close to stock Android without having to root it. Okay, so first up, let's start with the thing that'll probably make the biggest difference in your day-to-day -day use, the launcher. So for the stockiest launcher we can get, you're probably gonna want the Pixel launcher, which comes on the Pixel phones. It is in the Play Store, but it'll tell you that it doesn't work with your phone, which is really a lie, but it, it's gonna say that. So, to install it, we need to do the following. Go to Settings, Security on the phone, and then turn on Unknown Sources. After that, we're gonna grab the latest APK file from here, which is a link below this video, which you should view while on your phone just to make things easier. Then, you're gonna start the download and save it to your device. Once it downloads, you can pull down the notification or go to the My Files app on the phone and then tap the APK and tap Install. After it installs, we're gonna hit the Home button and select Pixel Launcher. This will also make it the new default launcher and anytime you hit the Home button, you're gonna end up there. Next up is the messaging app, which thankfully is in the Play Store. So we're gonna head to the Play Store and search for Android Messages and then install it. You're gonna know it's the right one because it'll say that it's from Google Inc. Once it's installed, we're gonna open it and just follow the prompts to make it the default messaging app. And why not as a compliment to the new stock messaging app, the stock keyboard. Again, we're gonna go to the Play Store, but this time we're gonna search for Gboard. It'll also be from Google Inc. Then we're gonna install it, open the app, and we're just gonna follow the prompts on that as well. They're a little bit longer because it's going to enable it, then it's gonna set it as your default input method. The next time you go to type, it'll be there. Next up, let's do the browser. And now, Chrome was already installed on my S8 Plus, uh, probably is on yours as well, but it's not the default internet browser. So, to do that, we're going to install it from the Play Store, if you don't already have it, of course, by searching for Chrome. Uh, but once it is on the phone, or you can confirm that it's on the phone, we're gonna head to Settings, Apps, tap the three dots in the top right corner and select Default Apps. Then we're gonna tap on Browser App and select Chrome. And now anytime that you open any links or anything like that, it will automatically open Chrome instead of Internet. Next up, let's do the dialer and the contacts. Now, there is a stock dialer and contacts APK file floating around on the web, but when you try to install it, it just it won't work for whatever reason. So instead, we're gonna to go to the Play Store and install a third-party app that just really closely resembles the stock one. That app is called XDialer. So we're gonna go to the Play Store again and we're gonna search for XDialer and then install it. Once it's installed, we're gonna settings on the phone, then apps, and tap the three dots in the top right corner to select default apps again. Then we're gonna tap on calling app this time and select XDialer. Next, let's have it use the stock calendar app instead of Samsung's calendar app. Now this is another one of those things that might already be on your phone, but if it's not, Go to the Play Store and search for Google Calendar and then install it. Open it and start to set it up if you haven't already. Once it is set up though, we're gonna go to Settings, Apps, and then we're gonna tap on the Samsung Calendar. It actually is called Calendar, but it's the one with the green icon compared to the blue one from Google Calendar. Once there, tap Clear Defaults. And this will actually remove Samsung Calendar as the app to handle events, and the next time something requires an event, it'll ask you which calendar to use, and you can select Google Calendar to make that the new default. Then we're also gonna tap on More Options in Settings and turn off notifications for the Samsung Calendar. This way we don't get double notifications every time we have an event. And for a final touch, why not put on a stock wallpaper? To do that, you can head to this collection here that has um, Android wallpapers all the way from Jelly Bean to Nougat. Uh, do this on your phone, the link is below. Then we're gonna tap on the one that we want and tap and hold on it once it's enlarged and tap download image, which will save it to our gallery. Next, we're gonna tap and hold on the home screen background and tap wallpapers. 
Then tap my photos and select the wallpaper you downloaded and tap set wallpaper. And there you go. There might be some more things that you guys can change. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that have done this. So let me know in the comments below if you guys have any other things that you can change besides what I've already listed. Other people will probably be interested to see and I'm interested as well. Um, but if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. If you want more videos like this, please check out my channel. And if you like what you see there, please subscribe. Also, I just relaunched my tech blog. The link is in the description or floating around here somewhere, but please check it out. There's a lot of tech news that I'm now doing on there, other tutorials that don't necessarily make it here to video and a bunch of other stuff as well. Would love for you guys to check it out and let me know what you think. As always though, thanks for watching.